Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hethal's Cornerstone. So today we will learn English grammar. Many of the students don't know the English grammar and they want to study uh, in abroad and uh, they want to take the admission in foreign university. But the basic is very poor. So today's first lecture, basic lecture today we will see and back to back we will see what is noun, pronoun and adjective, conjunction, preposition and with all the tenses. Okay. So, if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, you will get new update, okay, and very important information in my channel. So, uh, thing is that if you are serious about the learning a foreign language, okay, this is a learning a grammar is not the rules, not a set of rules made by people, okay. This is just the basic structure to learn a new language, okay. So, if you are serious and you want to learn quickly and you want to speak a fluently English, then it's most essential for you to learn English grammar. So, without any wasting our time, let's go inside. So, we will see first what is grammar. Okay, everybody is saying we have to learn grammar. Today is first grammar. But do you know actually the meaning of grammar? Grammar is a first noun. Okay, we will see the, what is a noun, pronoun, how many types of noun also. Okay, but first of them we will see the definition, basic definition of grammar. Okay, the whole system and structure of language. Okay, structure of language or languages in general usually taken as consisting of syntax, morphology, including infection and sometimes also called phonology and semantics okay this is a very heavy heavy words okay we don't know the meaning of syntax morphology phonology and semantics so we will learn this meaning also okay so uh, i will use two languages hindi as well as english okay so aapko dono taraf se pada pade. if i will speak only english then you have a problem because this is a English language lecture okay but for better understanding I will use Hindi for your references okay so we have seen the grammar uh, definition we will see what you mean by syntax syntax means what arrangement of words and phrases to create a well formed sentences in a language okay arrangement of words we don't know the uh, we don't know how to arranging the words okay first sentence is I am uh, fashion designer. I am a fashion designer. Okay, this is an arrangement of words. If I don't know how to arranging the words, then if I am uh, I am able to learn the English language, no. So syntax is essential. Okay, next one is that. Okay, we will see the, when the syntax was formed. The late 16th century, this word was formed syntax from the French word syntax, or we can say Latin from Greek. Syntaxy from sun together. Okay, this is called together and arrangement of words. This is called syntax. Okay, grammar means what? The structure, whole system and structure of language. See, itna yaad rakho structure of language. Okay, next one is what? Morphology. We will see particular form, shape or structure. We will say morphology. The study of the form of word in a particular inflected forms okay a particular form shape or structure we can say morphology right we must know konsa shape kahan pe aayega right konsa structure kahan pe aayega structure means what uh, present hai future hai then uh, simple tense hai okay present mein hai past mein hai this is called structure we must know cons what sentence you want to use Okay, so that's include in grammar definition, morphology. We will see phonology and semantics together. So, this ye form kab hua hai in 19th century from Greek word. Okay, morphy, morph, form plus logy. Okay, 19th century mein ye word formation hua tha. Okay, just ye dono mene likha hai just for your basic information. Okay, next one hai phonology. What do you mean by phonology? Okay. Phonology is the study of how sounds are organized and used in natural languages. Whereas, 
phonetics is about the nature of sound or phones okay so how sounds are organized and used in a natural language if this is one a study uh, we are not using we i am using uh, i am studying maize this is a one study language also phonology okay perfect meaning is that how speech sounds are organized in the mind and used to convey meaning okay uh, how are you okay we are seeing how are you okay so this is a sound how are you this is another sound but if i say how are you okay so this is a uh, different phase of sounds okay you are you are facing next one is that semantics so phonology is very important okay in uh, question ma if you want to speak a negative word negative sentence positive sentence uh, interrogative sentence uh, question or sentence okay the so phonology is very important okay essential skill you required to learn okay if you want to speak fluently english okay next one is semantics relating to meaning a language or logic okay so this is small simple relating to meaning okay we have to just uh, uh, arranging words okay in a language or we have to use some logic also right so we will see one another basic uh, english grammar definition is the way in which meaning are encoded into wordings in the english language meanings are encoded okay meanings are encoded with verbs um verbs and pronouns and uh, adjectives okay encoded okay with tenses right that's called a english grammar okay so this includes the structure of words phrases clauses sentences right up to the structure of whole text okay so what we will learn in this lecture just like this is a basic lecture but what we will learn in a few uh, in coming back lectures eight word classes or part of speech are commonly distinguished in english one is that we will learn nouns pronouns verbs adjectives adverbs prepositions conjunctions and interjections we will learn in coming lectures okay so what we will learn we will start from tenses okay present tense twelve type of tenses we will learn first one is present tense in present simple tense present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous tense okay this one is what present continuous and this is a present perfect continuous okay this is a different between two and four second one is that past tense we will learn first present tense then past tense past simple past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous tense okay and last one is future tense in future tense we will learn future simple future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous tenses okay so we will learn each and every tenses in detail okay so ye video dekhne ke baad ye tenses ka video dekhne ke baad aapka english um, 110% i am saying you perfectly improve ho jayega we will not further there will be no any query in this tenses in noun pronouns also okay so i i hope you like your uh, like our video so please agar aap naye hai mere channel pe to please don't forget to subscribe my channel so aapko naye naye update acche update milte rahenge thank you guys thank you for now bye bye